Once I've fixed all of the errors, there are no more defects detected by the bug finder, as you can see here, but we still cannot be sure of the absence of errors. I have a few test cases as part of my main, all of which pass, but this is the inherent limitation with testing that it cannot confirm the absence of errors. So let me go ahead and run Code Prover on this project using the same Polyspace plugin. You can see that the verification has more stages for deeper analysis, and therefore it takes longer time. So in your typical workflow, you would run the quick bug finding analysis more frequently to find and fix bugs during development and run code proving on units or modules to prove existence and absence of runtime errors on a less frequent basis. Now that we have the results, it's better to review them from within the Polyspace graphical user interface because of the detailed information provided through tooltips, call graphs, data dictionary, navigation, and other such features. As you can see, we have a couple of non-terminating loops, but let's go ahead and look at the dead code here. And the check information tells me that the if condition always evaluates to false. I can further understand this by expanding the macro here and using the tooltip, I can see that the variable index can only have a value of three under any runtime scenario. Therefore, this is always false. We have therefore proven the existence of dead code. However, another key benefit of code prover is all of the green checks here, which need not be tested for errors. And this can significantly reduce the amount of testing